Welcome back boys and girls to another amazing video. This is Denzel and in today's video I'm going to be going over how to make easy hands in Blender. Something super quick, super simple. I know hands are something that are really complicated. Something that you would like go on and on about. Something you have to worry about most of the time. But today I'm going to be showing you the easiest way out there to make these hands, alright? So if this sounds interesting, I think it's a handsy tutorial. Let's get into it. All right, first things first, we open up Blender and let's create a new scene. Let's delete everything in our scene. Let's go in front view and hit Shift A and add a cube. Let's scale this cube down by hitting S and you hit Shift Z to scale it on all the other axes except from the z axis all right so something around here we're going to be making uh short stubby hands so this is just right all right let's tap into edit mode and hit ctrl r and add loop cuts for the parts of the hand that will bend all right let's try to get this position right okay and if now if you think you have it right let's go ahead and hit ctrl b and add scroll your mouse wheel once to add this extra loop cut to bevel this edge all right and let's do the same thing for this place ctrl b and since we've done it once it will add three loop cuts all right okay i think these are far apart now do not bother adding subdivisions yet because uh, it's more advisable to model without subdivisions so that you have a basic uh, understanding of what you're doing let's just move this in gy okay select these guys and or this entire loops and just move them just a little bit okay all right let's go ahead and duplicate these guys select this bottom edge shift s will cursor to selected tab out of edit mode and go over to object set origins 3d cursor but right, i have mine in my quick favorites so i'm going to hit q origin to 3d cursor okay i said alt g so that it goes back to the middle this would be our middle finger so i'm going to scale it up some let's hit shift d and move this out and just scale it down let's shift d again scale this up some some hands hands have different variations my hand in particular has middle finger and the next finger after it almost equal so that's why i model like this but some hands have short have this really short but it depends on you how you feel like what you feel like giving the character let's move this one move it down some let me enable the move tool i find this very helpful in previous versions of blender it was there by default but since the 2.8 releases yeah it's just gone well let's scale this down not just on the z-axis but in general because the pinky is usually smaller than the rest now let's scale it on the z-axis okay that's looking nice now the thumb positioning the thumb can be very complex so let's delete now uh, let's dissolve these edges and let's move all these guys down to about here all right it'll make sense later on now the position of the thumb will just depend highly on how you want to read it so this position is generally what works I struggled with positioning the thumb, then I have 
strange bends on my thumb later on. Now, although in reality the thumb, the fingers are not like aligned, I prefer leaving them this way since I'm going for a more cartoony style. So adding the whole curvature on top would just, would I say, be more stressful. You can alter this position in a bit though, like going all uh, uh, anatomy, anatomical we just like give extra stress okay let's move on we are talking a little bit too much all right let's position this guy make sure you get these positions right i know it may seem stressful at first but once once you start like applying things this will just be a lot easier okay so Okay, everything looks nice. Now these are far apart. I suggest moving them closer together and then just rotating them. Since you have the origin set here, it shouldn't make much of a difference. So just move them closer together and just rotate them. Because I don't want to have extra loops there. We're trying to figure out how to make the fingers less uh dense because usually topology of the fingers is mostly a problem because you want you have so much information in the fingers and in the hand itself but very little amount of vertices to accommodate all that let's move this in all right let's make this as quick as i promised okay all right, let's go ahead and join these guys, but make sure you don't join the thumb just yet. All right, let's tap into edit mode and let's extrude on the Z axis. Let's get it in some. All right, let's go to the bottom view. Let's select these guys and hit M and at center. Okay. If you're using Blender 2.7 uh, down to 7.9, you hit Alt M. If you're using 2.8, hit M, merge at center. Okay. Um, just to do this for all the fingers. I think this, this hitting M thing is like, it's quite easier than the former version where you had to hit Alt M. As the keys are so far away, so... Just hitting M for merge instead of thinking of Alt M for merge. It seems simpler. And now you see what I mean when I told you about the told you about the positioning them the right way. Because now our vertices are going about in strange positions. Okay, so I'm just going to alter this. I'm more into the cartoony style, so this doesn't bother me a bit. If I can get it even more stylized, I would. Let's do this. So. Okay, okay, okay. Let's select these guys and just move them. Hold shift so you do it more precisely and slower. All right, select this this loop we've created now, and which let's deselect these ones in between. And from front view, I believe you can see the hand coming together already. Let's extrude on the Z axis. So about where the thumb starts. I think we'll move it down some, scale it out some. Look at it from all angles. Always look at everything from all the angles you have or oh, let's scale this on the z axis and try to get it to curve back so just scale it on the z and just move it like the opposite direction okay let's z but not too much all right to so about where the thumb will stop let's tap out of it mode and move the thumb down all right let's go back in okay 
extrude again, move this down on the C axis, scale this in. Um, let's select this one and scale it on the Y axis. Let's add a little more flesh. Select this guy as well. Let's make this, oh my, super square. So let's make this more circular. Let's select, hit W and go into loop tools and select circle. Now we don't want a perfect circle just yet. So we'll go into the drop down menu here and we'll reduce the influence. So we have a more circular shape, but not necessarily a circle, all right? Now let's extrude again on the Z axis because I don't want my hand to be circular since it's sort of stubby looking. Okay, this seemed too long for what I was initially planning. Uh, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, let's take a little manual editing. Just real quick. All right, all right. Everything is looking fine, I believe. All right. Okay, so this, you can make it a perfect circle now if you want. I don't want mine to be a circle. The hand technically is not a circle, but if you're going for, uh, if you're going for a realistic feel, you, know, you can use this one. The hand technically is not a circle, so let's try to keep some level of anatomical accuracy with this okay now for the thumb let's make sure we get the position right because it can be really painful to have your thumb just hitting r and r again to have this type of rotation or r to just rotate so please make sure you do that correctly well, if you think you have a position right, let's go ahead and join that. Tap into edit mode, delete the face here. Now you want to put the thumb on the second, on the second uh, loop we have here. Not the first, because if you look at your hand, the thumb is like it has a, a, a specific amount of space between the index finger and itself. Right, so with edge select mode, we hit W, bridge edge loops. Okay, we can see our positioning was horrible. Let's rotate on the Z axis some. Now I can just go in and edit this. I'm not going to be perfect here because we are on a time schedule. I need to do all the things, but let's go ahead and edit this. So about how you want it bad my thumb is way too long i'm just realizing this though oh no long thumbs are ugly i'm just trying to move all this uh, i hate making this type of mistakes i'm just trying to move all this though I'm just move this in very quickly. All right, all right, all right. We'll have to manage this for now. So this tutorial can still be good for low poly. I think it looks very good for low poly model, if you think about it. But if you are like me and you don't like that, and you want that smooth feel, let's go ahead, select the model and hit the mighty keys, control two, and we have some smoothness. Let's hit W, shake smooth. Ah, there we are. All right, the thumb obviously has some problems. I'm not going to fix all of it, but you get the point. Just go in, edit, come back out, look at it again, go back, edit, that sort of thing. Alright, this has been fun guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did do well to leave it a like, drop a comment if you have any thoughts, if you feel like uh, insulting my hand. Don't do that though. But if you have any thoughts, do well to tell me. 
in the comment section subscribe to this channel that is the most important thing support me as much as you can and for now subscribing is the best you can do for me so if you enjoyed this tutorial hit that subscribe button and that is basically it guys put this on all your models and they're going to be looking amazing well this is the hand we made today saying goodbye and peace have a nice one guys